Sales is the lifeblood of every business and having the perfect sales system is hard to come by. Hey, what up decisive marketers? Today, I'm going to be talking about upskill.ai. This is a omni-channel sales outreach and CRM tool. And with upskill.ai, you can set up drip sequences with phone calls, emails and LinkedIn messages. On top of that, you get a calendar as well as a Kanban board and CRM system to manage your sales process. Um, now, before I dive into upskill.ai, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content. So here we go. So here we are in upskill.ai. Um, I may not be able to demonstrate everything uh, in upskill.ai simply because uh, at the moment they only support uh, Google Workspace and Outlook, right? So if you're using Microsoft or Google, then upskill.ai is perfect for you, right? So firstly, um, this is, of course, you know, this is the dashboard right here. So you don't see anything because I'm not able to connect my, um, you know my accounts with it right so uh, over here what you want to be doing is go to general and set up your mailbox right so you can set up your mailbox via gmail or microsoft outlook okay so uh so you possibly you, you would probably want to use one of those and then uh, you can set up your voice uh, all you need to do is purchase the number uh, it will be via twilio at the moment and uh, possibly they might support more uh, carriers uh, in the future right and then you can set up all your notifications that you want to receive right here okay you can jump into organization you can set up your company emails um, and uh, you know any do not contact list for domains and email addresses you can set that up you can create tags uh, so that you can tag your contacts uh, and then the currency that you're selling in and exclude reply detection right so if you want to uh, exclude any replies because usually what happens with the drip sequences is when you receive a reply it will stop uh you know with the sequence right the automation sequence right and then you can set up your profile right here uh and then you can add more users uh and then your prospects right so this is uh, all the different stages in the um in your kanban uh you know your kanban system right i mean your kanban board where you manage your sales uh your prospects in different stages okay so this is what there is you can also you know edit them if you want to you can set up custom fields for your prospects right so maybe you want to add the uh, a few for like whether they have kids or not right and what the ne names of the kids are you know up, up is up to you right you can put that all in a custom field okay and then accounts as well you can set that up uh, opportunities uh, this will be you know uh you know where the stages are as well and then uh, your phone numbers are in there your call stages as well did they answer the call uh did, did you when you when you make a call did you reach uh did you get stopped by a gatekeeper uh you know uh the, the you know it's it a discovery call is it a referral it's is it uh, uh maybe the person is not interested or they are no longer with the company uh you know maybe you 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 have set up a demo with the uh person uh or the wrong contact it's a bad number is no longer working uh or they wanted you to call them back on the same day or a later day so you can set that all up all uh all of these different uh statuses i would say okay and the, the purposes uh, what are you, you calling for you can set that all up as well and then your schedules okay okay so like when do you want to be contacting this these uh people so uh you know it's is it monday to friday and during the business working hours okay if you want to you can always change the uh you know the uh you know the time zone or uh you know the working hours in there so it's all up to you uh what do you what you want to set this up for Right, so let's say you don't want to set send out maybe you know 5 30 is too late you know you can just set it to 5 uh, sorry uh, 6 p.m is too late you can set it to 5 30 
right any rule set okay so like this is like a automation so when certain uh, things happen okay into when prospects get added into a particular sequence so for example you may have a uh, not interested sequence where you would maybe send out information every couple of days or sorry uh, every couple of uh, every month maybe you send out a update email like what your team is doing or you share some value you know you can put that put them into a sequence like that then uh, you know you would then make certain changes to the prospect statuses right or their information right and then maybe if they unsubscribe then you would uh, you know uh, you know you, would you prevent them from being added to the sequence again or are they are they can they be added to the sequence again you know you can set that all up right here and any uh, triggers right so uh, let's see so this would be like an automation as well so when a prospect is added somewhere or when an account is added somewhere uh you know you can then add certain actions okay so you can add certain actions like add a tag remove a tag create a task or set few okay and then uh in terms of uh integration so they put it as plugins right here you can connect with salesforce HubSpot, Pipedrive, Zoho, uh, Zapier, Google Sheets, Slack, and Upscale. All right. So of course, there's no public connect at the moment, but of course, um, I believe the team will uh, work towards that. All right. So that's the dashboard. So we have already sort of have the entire settings of how it looks like. So what happens if you add a prospect in here? You can upload a CSV or import a Google Sheet or add a prospect manually like this. So let's say I would to create someone else. I uh, mean some some name right here. Uh, let's say Vincent Lee. Uh, I'm just going to put some email in there right then okay and then just add okay so the prospect is added successfully okay so this is the prospect right here um, and you can sort of have them in different stages okay you can have them in different stages uh, okay so you can have them in different stages like this so you can you know change the stage right over here uh, let's see right so you can see like they are email activity and call activity as well so if you make certain calls to them they or they call you back or you send out emails they open them they read them or and and there's some kind of maybe uh exchange of emails then you can know like how um active they are uh how you know how possible they would be purchasing your product or services okay right and then you can set tags in there right so this is where all your you know your crm is right all your contact uh, information will be in there then uh so those will be prospects right then uh, you can create accounts <coughs> right here which is uh you know similar So prospect uh, and accounts will be, you know, prospect will be the person that you're speaking to. Uh, I believe up accounts would be like the company that they represent in there. Uh, that's what I would think, right? So like you can try and sell to this person, okay, in there. <coughs> and then the next would be opportunities, right? So opportunities will be like a deal uh, itself, right? So right now you're prospecting them. Uh, you can just name it whatever you want 
So the name will be like something that you're selling, right? Maybe um, coaching service, uh, whatever it is, right? And then, uh, you know, which account is it, which prospect it is. So you can add, add that. You can add the due uh, value as well. Okay, you can add the due value as well. <coughs> okay, all right. So you can add the due value, uh, the amount. Well, when when have you closed them? If you have already done so, uh, and the confidence interval, right in there, like which you know how probable are they to purchase from you? Then the next thing is of course this is where we are interested in. This is the automation sequences. Uh, while it's it's not actu actu uh exactly uh, a full sequence, but uh, as as in the full automation sequence, but uh, this is like the workflow sequence that you should follow in your sales process. So it could be a event invite, right? So you you call you you send out an email to them, say hey, uh, we have this event, right? And then you three days later you send out another email. Then on the sixth day you call them up, okay. If not on the ninth day you send out a connection request, and on the thirteenth day you send out an email again, right? So this is the process, and the email templates has all been done for you, okay. So you, all you need to do just put in the preview, uh, just click on the preview. You can see them, and of course you can then uh, just click on create and customize. Uh, and it will be in there, right? Then next, maybe you want to follow up with them, right? So follow up, okay? So the first day you send out a manual email, the fourth day you send out an, uh, an, an automation email, uh, then on the seventh day you make a phone call and you create a task, okay? Right, so you can have a monthly check-in. So every 30, every, every month you you kind of uh, make a task and say how am I gonna uh, make a call uh, reach out to these uh, people right so persona workflow okay so high touch can you point me in the right direction okay so this is more like uh, um, more uh, high touch that means you're putting in a lot more uh, effort uh, with the manual emails uh, and and you know phone calls and LinkedIn outreach for uh you know to for high you know conversion I would say and you can see the percentage that's automated right here right so there's only thirty one percent uh automation that means the rest sixty nine percent of your would be your own manual effort okay so you can see uh like what percentage of it it is next is a low touch you send an email blah, blah blah so you follow this uh you know template right here and they have a lot i mean this these are the what what they have that covers a lot of uh i would say um uh a lot of the uh so i mean a lot of sequences that 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 would cover your use cases in there all right of course if you want to you can create your brand new sequence from scratch right and then task wise so you can create your task to sort of inform yourself like what you need to do okay uh so maybe you want you have to send out a automated email or you have a manual uh, email that you have to write and send on that day itself uh, a phone call or a linkedin uh you know view the profile right and then uh send a connection request send a message send an email uh generic task or send them a whatsapp message so it's all in here okay right so you can perform all these tasks this is just kind of kind of for you to know uh when you go into the dashboard you know like this my these are my active tasks i need to be doing this to close some sales okay next is your outbox so once you've connected your email you can see what are the emails that you have sent right here okay yep so when you compose your email so it comes in right here and then your calls as well so when you make calls you receive calls uh, you can log them in here right and then uh, you can create email templates right here which you know these are the ones that they have 
uh, you know, you probably want to create those email templates first before you set up your sequences. And the next thing would be once you've connected your uh, account, your your G, sorry, your Google Workspace or your Outlook account with Upscale, you'll be able to see all your uh, tasks and events in your calendar right here. Lastly, would be your reports. Okay, so um, I would say that Upscale is a very massive tool. It it does everything. It's not like um, it's not like a co outreach tool. Where it's 100% automated. Uh, this is where salespeople will come in and make the difference, right? This is where they will come in and make the difference. And, uh, you know, just having automated uh, sequences going on, I don't think that's bad at all. But uh, I think in some ways, automated sequences are great because if a prospect does not want you to be sort of on their ass all the time, uh, then I think putting them into an automated sequence where they can process the information that you are sending them on their own pace. Okay, so those kind of people, they just don't want to be like in the face. Uh, they, 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 they don't want to meet you, whatever it is. They, they, they want to make that uh, conscious buying decision on their own then automated sequences are perfect for that but you you know if you want to be proactive and get sales you have you you would want to put in that manual effort in there right you have to manually uh, call them up uh, you know maybe you know write a uh, personal mail in there where you have to collect data from a few places and you know write something out for that uh, you know and I think that's where uh, you know upskill is is perfect for that right? I think it's a full fledged um, you know uh, co outreach CRM system okay so I would say the only thing that is missing with upskill would be the uh, you know the uh, booking calendar so if you have a booking calen calendar system uh, you could send that you know you can send it out the the you know prospects can book a meeting with you and also uh, I think if they have an inbox in here it would be great as well so you don't have to uh, you know use a different system to check your mail <laughs> okay but i think that's about it right but if upscale want to take it further then i think maybe some kind of proposal system and uh maybe invoicing would be amazing you know just have everything within one system you can see what uh your prospects have uh, purchased from you and what kind of product and how you can upsell it as well right so i think that's all i have to share about upscale i think it's a very very powerful system uh you know very clean uh, user interface it's easy to understand right and that's all i have to share about it right so if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up let me know what you think about upscale.ai in the comments below lastly if you know anyone who can benefit from it be sure to share this video with them i'll see you in my next video Bye bye